wants a biscuit, I promise I'll give him one more. Uh, you'll get half of one. Part of one. I'm not going to spoil your dinner. <laughs> Can't do anything without giving this dog a biscuit. And my nose itches and it's irritating my nose ring! Oh! oh. Do I get kissed? Kiss? Alright. So, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I've just, you know, real life gets in the way. What can you do? Um, I wanted to sit down and do them all at once, but who got time for that? So, we're just going to break them down and do a little at a time. Um, I'm going to do little reviews of some of my favorite Asian horror films. Um, the ones I'm going to do for a while are um, through Tartan Asian Extreme. That's who puts these out. Where are you going, dum dum? If I, can't, if I don't keep an eye on him, he's into something. Um, to me, they put out some of the best Asian horror on DVD. Come on. Come on. Come play with your new Slimer. Come here. Come on. Come get him. He's a brat. Anyway. Um. Sorry, my nose ring is from my allergies. It's just making me crazy. I'm about to rip my, my nose off, and I'm sure some of you sick horror freaks would enjoy that. Um. I'm going to snag my phone because I want to be able to read some of the descriptions on here that are not in here. So I don't remember there being any inserts in these. And I want to be able to read some of this stuff to you guys. Here we go. So we're going to start with um, three extremes. This is a box set and it is one of the best I have ever come across. Um, it's actually a double CD set. Um, the first DVD is a three, a three film part. It's uh, like three mini films. Um, the first one, doo, doo, doo. Well, my phone is being a little bit of a brat today. Almost as bad as Bubby over here. Alright, uh, we, the first one we have is Dumplings, and the director is Fru Chan. Fru Chan. I've heard it said both ways. Um, and it is. It is from it is from Hong Kong, um, and it stars uh, Bai Ling. Oh, I am so sorry. My allergies are just a little more than I can handle right now. I know you want that Slimer, don't you? He's pretty cool. 
um, you guys probably know, oh, the floor's all wet where you were licking. Um, you guys probably know who Barling is, but, um, okay, I will give you a rundown on dumplings. A former TV star um, is still attractive but no longer acting. Her husband goes on long trips without her and doesn't even bother with alibis. Um, in other words, yeah, he's having affairs. She turns to a woman, Bai Ling, she has heard about. A perky, cheerful type who works out of a small, small apartment in a high-rise. This woman, this woman cooks and serves dumplings, her special dumplings. How old do I look to you? She asks her client. The actress guesses. Oh, about 30. I would have said even younger. The cook says she's a lot older than that. The secret is in her dumplings. The actress pays for an order, looks at them dubiously, eats them, and comes back for more. She thinks she looks better. Um, uh, that gets, uh, somehow that gets cut off. Um, Anyway, the, um, Bai Ling, who goes by Auntie May, um, her, her special dumplings, um, has the secret ingredient that makes women appear much more youthful and increases their vitality. And I will just leave it at that, but it, it's... It's just very, very disturbing. Um, and even though this woman goes to Auntie May for her dumpling, she knows she's well aware of what this secret ingredient is. But um, even though she's very disturbed by it, she she is fine with that. She she willingly eats them and suffers the consequences. To do whatever she has to do to not only reclaim her youthful looks, um, regain her career, and try to get her husband's affections back, and it's just—it's really disturbing. But it's—it's it's very, it's very interesting as well. The second one. Doo -doo 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 is box and I really actually don't remember this one very well um I have just glimpses of it in my mind but um the summary a reclusive guilt ridden writer with a stunned relationship to her publisher remembers the horrible death of her twin sister whose presence begins to be felt in the real world and I don't really remember a whole lot of it except for like a, a circus type tent out in the middle of nowhere and a and a and a box and and someone being inside that that's all I really remember um and this one's been uh, a while since I, I've remembered that one but um that one is doo -doo -doo. Directed by Oh Takashi Mike, who, who did um, directed Audition, and if you have not seen Audition, which I will do a review for sometime as well, um, that film is absolutely disturbing. Any Asian horror film fan has has probably seen seen that and knows who he is. And then the last one is directed by Chan Wook Park, and that is The Cut. And I remember this one 
and it is so freaking insane. Um, a famous director and his pianist wife are held hostage by a disgruntled extra in a rigged film set where the director must strangle a little girl or watch as his wife loses her fingers. Um, the set looks like a cross, like kind of like something out of Alice in Wonderland meets Beetlejuice. Like, like a Tim Burton film. Um, and and the, the husband has to strangle this little girl or every so often um, if he doesn't every so often um, this sick freak will cut off um, the guy's wife's fingers every few minutes. It's just, it's so insane. <laughs> it is so insane. But, um, Three Extremes is absolutely wonderful. The second disc in this contains a full-length version of Dumplings, and since it's, um, a full-length version, the storyline, um, has different scenes added to it, so it makes the storyline absolutely different from the shorter version that's contained in the Three Extremes version. So you get two different versions of it in Three Extremes. So this box set is an absolutely must-have for any Asian horror film fan. So, um, sorry I didn't have it together for this. I, I, I can't brain today. I'm sorry. But definitely check out Three Extremes. Moving on. Turn my sound off because my my Facebook is a call in. All right, the next thing I have is. This was actually my very first Asian horror film, and this is what made me fall in love with the genre. Um, also from Tatan Tartan Asian Extreme, it's called Acacia. Um, after ten years of marriage, Do Il and Mi Suk live a seemingly happy and secure life together. Unable to conceive, they decide to adopt Jin Sung, a young boy that Mi Suk is drawn to after seeing his munch-like paintings. Quiet and introverted, Jin Sung spends most of his time playing underneath the acacia tree in their backyard, away from the family. When Mi Suk becomes miraculously pregnant, he becomes even more attached. As the once, once dead acacia tree in the backyard begins to bloom, terrible accidents begin to tear the household apart. Is it Jin Song or something far more sinister? As somebody who's adopted, I, I love watching films that deal with anybody that's adopted. I don't know why. I guess... They're all so, they all seem to be so, so unbelievably tragic, and I, I'm, I'm attracted to films like that, and you know, this did not disappoint in that, and um, I guess I, I felt so close to this little boy's character because um, one of my two ad adoptive parents, um, not one of them, you know, made me feel like, you know, I was just so unwanted for being adopted. And I, I related to, to this little boy um, because when this, this little boy's adoptive parents, you know, had, had their own birth child um, come about after they adopted him, they no longer wanted him, but, you know, they didn't never get rid of him, but they, you know, made him feel so unwanted and unloved and unwel unwelcomed um, 
just seeing this little boy's, you know, just fall apart and how badly he was treated. And I just, I felt so bad for him. And, um, then when he supposedly had run away and they couldn't find him and, um, things just, all these spooky incidences started happening, um, just things were just really, really creepy and, um, I just, I fell in love with the film. I, I don't like to give spoilers. I don't want to give anything away. One thing I love, love, love about Asian horror films, most of them know how to scare the hell out of you with very little or to no blood. Now, there are some that can be pretty gory, too, and I, I love those as well. But one thing I, another thing I love about Asian horror films as well is that, um, they're, they're, their culture of, of ghosts and spirits and dealing with the dead is so much different than it is with American cultures. It's, it's, it's a lot more like here it is, um, like with my native culture. It's kind of like a lot of like, not the same, but you know, the, the cultures are, you know, sort of similar in, a lot of that spiritual beliefs about afterlife or, or you know ghosts and spirits or whatnot but um i i hate when they remake asian horror films here in america because they just don't translate well that's why i i really enjoy the asian horror films better because um the american films just don't get it right but um i just you just get such that, such a overwhelming sense of dread with their films um, when you deal with the ghosts and spirits. Um, and there's all, there's always this tragic sense that comes along with many of their their films. The stories involved, they're so complex, and the way they tell them um, is there's there's such such a build up and you'd never know what happened the the film their films stretch on and it's not till like the very last few minutes at at the end of the film that they just dump it all out on you all at once and you're just like wow what did i just see you know they give you that like WTF factor at the end, you know, so, you know, I, I, this one, I really loved it, you know, it just, and it was not really one of those really graphic, bloody kind of films at all, you know, very little blood or anything at all, but, um, I just fell in love with it, it was just kind of special to me, and it was my first Asian horror film, so I love that one a lot, oh, probably t totally knocked my camera off right there, whatever. Um, the last one I'm going to do, um, I really like this one, um, also from Tartan Nation Extreme, Sorum. This one has definitely got that WTF factor. <laughs> the end of it definitely blew my mind. Um, it, and like it says on the back, Sorum sneaks up on you and grabs you. Um... Oh, and like Acacia, um, Sorum is, um, both of these are Korean. Um, looking for a fresh start, a young taxi driver moves into apartment 504 of a crumbling tenement. He soon discovers the previous tenant died mysteriously, and everyone on the floor is somehow connected to the dead man. After befriending the troubled neighbor living a few doors down, he stumbles into an, into an affair that sends them both down a dark path. Oh, allergies. But there's something else odd about the atmosphere in the rundown building. Oh, oh, gotta sneeze, I'm sorry. Does a ghost haunt those living here, or does true evil exist in those left alive? Um... I just 
just really do not know what to say about Sorum. It was so excellent. I absolutely loved it. But it was probably one of the most effed up, most disturbing things I had ever seen. But, um... I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It just, it was heartbreaking. It was crazy. Um, it showed some of the most darkest sides of human nature. Um, but definitely worth the watch. I have not watched this in a very long time. This makes me want to go watch it because I haven't seen it in a long time. This this was just an absolute gem. Um, some of the best Asian horror films have come from Korea. So, um, I would definitely check out Sorum. Um, if you like really sick, twisted stuff, you'd love that. It's absolutely amazing. So, but, Bubby over here is passed out. So, um... It's almost time for dinner. My blood sugar is low. I have not eaten today. Uh, I couldn't eat breakfast because went to make toast and the bread was all moldy. So, not quite sure how that happened. But, we are out of here. I'm glad I could share some of my favorite Asian horror films with you. I've got quite a few um, on DVD. I don't have um, a lot of them on DVD anymore. Some of them got lost a while back. Um... I'm on several sites that I've got paid memberships that I, I'm able to watch a lot of Asian horror, so um, I, I, can, I, I will still recommend some, some great films. Um, I also watch a lot of Asian um, drama and comedy series, so um, I should... I should uh, Come do some reviews of some some of the series I've watched in the last couple years that you guys should absolutely check out if you're into that kind of stuff as well. Um, but yeah, those are three of my favorites. I, I might come back next week and recommend three more uh, Asian horror films from Tartan Asian, uh, Tartan Asian Extreme that you guys should check out. But that's it. We are out of here. Peace out.